What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, hope you're having a great day. Today we have some pretty interesting things to talk about when it comes to the new 2020 Shelby GT500. Now as you can tell, right behind me we also have a GT500. This is a 2014 GT500. Now here in this channel, we're not new to GT500 content. We've been doing this for, for a few years now and I honestly can't wait in the sense that we're gonna be adding the latest GT500 to the lineup. This is gonna be so incredible because we're gonna be able to compare the new 2020 GT500 against the 2014. Back in 2014, 2013, this was the most powerful muscle car that you could buy. It had 662 horsepower. There were no Dodge Hellcats, nothing like that. These things were just awesome. And thinking about it, the new 2020 GT500, it takes what this is and brings it to the next level. This car, let's be honest, I'll be honest, it's never really been the best when it comes to cornering. I think the GT350 is just amazing at it. Even the Boss 302, I'd say, was the better track car. However, though, there is no other Mustang out that can accelerate faster than this one. Come on, guys, be honest. The new 2020 GT500 really isn't quite out yet. We're looking at a bit longer until we start seeing customer deliveries. However, though, there are a few exceptions, that being VIN number one of the new 2020 GT500. Yep, that's right. Ford has actually built the first ever 2020 GT500 that is a, a production model. They've built tons of prototypes and pre-production vehicles, but we're finally seeing the production models rolling off the assembly line. That's awesome. It really is. It just shows us how close we are until we see actual owners take delivery of their car. With that in mind, we have finally seen the owner's manual for the new 2020 GT500. It's actually out. What is awesome though, guys, is that I did receive a few photos that are taken showing this new VIN number one GT500 just rolling down the assembly line. It's really shocking because I have never seen any 2020 GT500 quite like this one. Huge thanks to my guy at Ford. He did an awesome job with these photos and it really just makes me so excited for the car and I bet it makes you guys excited as well. Right away you're going to notice that this new 2020 GT500 CS0001 is painted in Hornet Green. Hornet Green. Have you guys ever heard of that paint color? Well, I think some of you might have. That's a color that is not available to, to any normal customer. That being, if you went out to your dealership to place an order down for a new GT500, you won't see that option anywhere. The closest color you have is going to be grab or line, but at the same time, it does look very different from it. I'll be completely honest, guys. I really do like it. It looks pretty cool. It reminds me a lot of the green we find on the Mustang Bullets. You guys may be guessing, well, why is this VIN number one GT500 so unique, so one-off, while the owner bought it for $1.1 million. I'll play the clip right now. This is a really exciting car, serial number one of the new Mustang GT500. So we're really excited about this car. Now this thing is great. They haven't announced all the final numbers. North of 700 horsepower, a sub 11 second quarter mile, three and a half seconds, zero to 60. This thing is a beast. And the GT350 has been fantastic. This is a step above. So anybody that gets this is gonna have something really special. VIN number one, I think this is, that says it all. Absolutely, this is historic, folks. This is an absolute opportunity, historic moment here at Barrett-Jackson to buy VIN number one. 100% of the proceeds will go to the charity. 
Let's rock and roll, Joseph, and we'll tell them more as we go on a road to a million and north of that, I hope. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I need to get out $100,000, $200,000, and one, two, 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 three, and $300,000, and $300,000, 400, and keep it running, four, five, and four, 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 fifty, and four and a half, down, and down, and I'm to get down four and a half, and four, fifty, now four and a half, now five, one million is paid, and a million won, 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 hundred thousand. Here. And a million one, one and a million one, a million spent, and a million one, and a million dollar, not a million one, and a million one, 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 a million Three. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulate Mr. Craig Jackson. He bought the car. Yes. One million one hundred thousand yes. dollars. Thank you, Craig. Yep, you guys heard that right. The owner of this new VIN number one GT500 is Craig Jackson himself. He actually owns a classic GT500 in the same paint color, which is why, as you'd expect, this new 2020 GT500 matches his original car. So there you have it. That's why this new GT500 VIN number one is is painted in hornet green. What do you guys think about that? Please let me know in the comment section down below. If you bought the first ever 2020 production GT500, would you have it painted in that paint color? Also, what's unique though is that when it comes to his wheels, it doesn't seem like he went with the carbon fiber wheels that you get from the carbon fiber track package. What's also interesting is that towards the center of his wheels, they're painted. That being the front is painted red and the backs are painted green. Okay guys, so here's where it all started, right here, the horseless carriage. Now, if you take this, and you take those two horses over there, then you'd have two horsepower. Ah, so that's how it works. Okay guys, I decided to change up the location. Right now we're in beautiful Southern California wine country. It looks pretty cool out here. There's vineyards everywhere, everywhere you look. And also the sun is starting to go down as, as you can see. So it's pretty nice out, I think. Anyways guys, but back to the topic. What's also pretty interesting is that in those first few photos, what you'll notice is that it has no rear wing. You would have probably expected VIN number one to be like a carbon fiber track package GT500. Now new photos have emerged of the complete finished product. And yes, it does have the huge carbon fiber GT4 style of rear wing. But the strange thing about it is that it doesn't show the carbon fiber weave. It's painted. It looks like it's painted in like a checkered flag pattern. I don't know guys, what do you think? If you bought VIN number one of the 2020 Shelby GT500s, would you ever decide to build it the way Craig Jackson built his? A few of the things you will notice is that it doesn't seem like he got carbon fiber wheels and also painted stripes. From a build standpoint, it doesn't seem like he's gotten any of those features, at least so far. Anyways, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're gonna have such amazing content to come. I can't wait, it's gonna be so much fun, especially comparing the new 2020 GT500 up against the GT500 Super Snake. Who do you think will win? What's awesome about this car though, guys, is that it still does have a six-speed manual transmission. This is the last ever manual GT500. I'm not sure if they're ever gonna add a manual transmission to the new 2020. So they are going to be very different. I can't wait to compare them. Thinking about it, we're gonna have one GT500, we're going to be adding on a second GT500, maybe a third G I'm going to stop right there, saying too much. 
We're going to have a ton of exclusive content along the way. I think you guys are really going to like it. Make sure you subscribe and also hit that notification bell so that you're always up to date on all the latest videos. It's going to be one amazing journey. Hit that like button. It really helped me out. I'll see all of you in the next episode.